back now with our today's checklist, and we're focusing on hair health. After all the fun in the sun this summer, we are going to learn how to care for our hair as we head into the fall. Joining us now is plastic surgeon and hair loss specialist, Dr. Michael Wolfeld. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Very good, thank you. Okay, so we're talking about hair health. Is it important for us to change our hair routine as we get into fall? Absolutely. So going from summer into fall and winter, you, you, you went through harsh treatments during the summer. There was sun, chlorine, salt water. So you want to be gentle with your hair. Okay. You want to be easy, no tight hairstyles. You don't want to overwash your hair either. It may strip your natural oils from your hair, may dry it out even more. You want to limit some of the heating tools that you may use, a hot mm. blow dryer, flat iron, that okay. can damage your hair a little bit more as well. And also, you can look refreshed by getting a nice trim. Mm -hmm. So you may have some broken ends, split ends from Cut the summer. Off. Just trim it, it'll look nice, it'll look refreshed, and it'll help you out. Okay, yeah. so now talking about scalp health. How can you determine if you just have some dry skin, a little dandruff, or if there's a bigger issue? Yeah, so you can start off by trying to moisturize your scalp. You can use some oils like coconut or avocado oil. You can use moisturizing shampoos, conditioners. That can help to treat a dry scalp. There's also anti-dandruff shampoos like ketoconazole, uh, perithione zinc. That can help as well. Ketoconazole, there's a over-the-counter and prescription strength. Mm -hmm. May also help to thicken your hair a little bit. But if it's not helping and you still have dry scalp, dandruff after a week or two, mm -hmm. maybe best to see your physician as well. Okay. So, yeah. doc, right. doc, what if uh, you start to see a little bit more hair in the shower drain than usual? <laughs> this seasonal shedding, what are the yeah. causes of that? Yeah, so seasonal shedding does happen. No need to worry, okay. no need to stress out even more because stress causes and can cause some shedding of hair. As you're going from the summer into fall and winter, you go through hormonal changes. There's less sunlight, less vitamin D that can trigger a little bit more of a shedding. This is men, we're talking men and women here. Men and women, okay. exactly. But the good thing to remember is that that hair does come back in. It's not a permanent loss of hair. Also, it's good to have a good diet and to eat well because deficiencies in fatty acids, vitamins, protein can also trigger a little bit more shedding as well. All right, let's move on down one more and talk a little bit about uh, the, the, the different seasons of, of hair, hair cycle phases. Yeah, so this is something everyone goes through as well. So your hair follicle cycles. There's an antigen or a growth phase of the hair cycle, okay. which most of your hair is in this cycle at any point in time. But that transitions into what's called a catagen or transition phase where it actually starts to uh, begin to the shedding process where it separates. The telogen, which is a resting phase, then exogen phase, which your hair sheds. So every hair follicle goes through this cycle over your lifespan and it's normal. Your hair will shed. You may notice hair in the shower, hair yeah. in your brush. People shed 50 to 100 hairs a day. That's mm. normal. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like every day. That's every a day. Lot. No matter the season. Okay, I That's have a right. good one. I think this is a hot topic. Well, I yeah. know it's a hot topic. Let's talk about eyebrows. First of all, on TikTok, they have this whole thing called eyebrow blindness, which I had never heard of. But, you know, sometimes you overpluck, yes. and then you don't know if you can grow them back, quite yes. frankly. So can you so, grow them back? So, yeah, the answer is yes. Yes. And, and it is huge. We're seeing a lot of people coming in concerned with their eyebrows. People have been over tweezing, over plucking oh, yeah, for years. years. Yeah. Their hair eyebrows just thin out. So there are some treatments. There's easier than for like for your scalp? Do eyebrows come back easier? Eyebrows, it may be similar, okay. but there's treatments and procedures that can be done. Okay. So there's over-the-counter topical minoxidil, bimatoprost is a prescription. These are treatments that are off-label for eyebrows. They're not technically approved for eyebrow use, but studies have shown that they can help. So it's mm. best to, you can try that, best to be under a you physician just, like, supervision. Put it right on over in that yeah, spot? Yeah, with a Q-tip, gently put it on. But, you know, I would speak to All your right. physician first before using it. And also eyebrow transplants. And it does exist. Where do you and take we, the hair from? We take the hair from the back of your head, <laughs> and we transplant it exactly as your hair naturally grows in your eyebrows. Just clip it and bit. it grows. You have to trim a little bit more frequently, yeah. but it looks completely natural. Makes a huge difference. I actually are know super someone happy. who has it, and it's good. Yeah. Wait, really quickly, because really I know happy. people care about this. I've heard castor oil and rosemary oil. Does that, yes. do, does that really so, work? So a lot of people use it. It's been trending. There's not really great evidence that okay. it really makes a difference. Okay. It could be irritating as well. So you got to be careful if you're going to do it, and there's not great evidence behind it, but something that has been okay. trending. Oh, I have learned good. more about eyebrows well, in the last three minutes. Well, now I'm staring at everyone's eyebrows. I'm like, <laughs> nice, nice, no, nice. That's nice. Right. That's so right. I can just take them back here and put it up here. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.